What's up guys, it's your coach, friend, and mentor, Scotty. Happy Monday morning. I'm on week two, day one of a new nutritional supplement that Beachbody will be coming out with. I can't talk about anything about it, what it does for me or anything, but I'm excited to keep documenting my results so that I can share with you when it officially comes out. Now I have a quick message that I wanna give. I just got done doing my chest and tries workout with Body Beast, and I went outside and there is a new uh, base for our Spalding basketball hoop along with a new rim. Now I wanna give you guys a little, uh, a little lesson um, about just what we're going through and, and why that's on the front porch and just give an example of great customer service and not always listening to what someone else's opinion might be because remember, things are either fit, opinion or fact and that's one thing my wife is great at um, while teaching and mentoring our young children is just asking them is that fact or opinion when something comes up in their life or they're called a name or whatever it might be. So first thing is uh, we live in Idaho, so the winds get fierce. And we bought a Spalding basketball hoop. It's awesome. It's out in the cul-de-sac. All the neighbors can play on it. Uh, so it's just a real fun place to be outside and enjoy the outdoors. Well, um, the base uh, ten has a tendency from after doing research, after having ours crack, um, the base tends to crack sometimes. And then the water leaks out, and then it has no stability, no weight uh, to keep it um, upright. So our base uh, cracked in the bottom, the water leaked out without us knowing, the winds came, knocked it over, and it um, broke the, like it didn't break the rim, but it bent the rim uh, into oval shape and up. And I can't, I couldn't manually bend it down, but we've been playing on it. Um, I researched on Google and YouTube, like how to, how to uh, replace, or how to get a new replacement part for Spalding. And I will admit it was difficult to find where to buy the replacement. And I found people writing like, I contacted Spalding, they don't get back to you, they don't care about your customers. Like I saw all these bad reviews, I'm like, what the heck, that's crazy. Anyhow, I went on to search and I'm like, I'm just gonna fix this on my own. And there were a few um, things that people shared. One of them was to fill the base with concrete, put it into the bottom where the crack is and it should seal the crack and then you can have that for some weight and then add water in. I put two bags of 80 pound concrete in, it had some weight, but I put it in the end where it was cracked, which put it frontwards and so it was still um, top heavy. It fell over super easily, even with that extra 80 pounds. So I filled it with water. I could immediately see that water was slowly leaking out. So I was like, huh, this, this fix is not gonna completely work. And then I went and researched some more on YouTube. I found that these people are using, some people use a tie down strap that you use in the back of your pickup truck or on trailers. And they, they drove big stakes into the ground on each side and then did a tie down across the base. And so I was like, oh, that's genius. So I bought these um, Ace Hardware, these, uh, stakes about this big. I drove them in on each side of the base and I used the old tie down that I'm not using and tied it down. So it now has the concrete in it, the water leaked out and the bit and the, the tie down. Super solid. There's no way that thing is going to fall out. It's solid. I love it. But one thing is, is I found the contact form on Swalding and I emailed them, Hey, this is what happened. My base cracked. The wind blew it over. It broke the rim. The base is cracked. Um, I just want to let you know, I couldn't find where to find uh, where to buy a new replacement. But, but here's the thing, I, I like fixed it, I did this modification and it works, um, but it's, I was just a little frustrated that I couldn't find where to just buy a new base and I had to go through all that. And they're like, hey, send us your receipt and we'll send you a new base and we'll send you a new rim. So it just arrived today. So my lesson on that is uh, in life, there's always a way to fix things, work around things to make something work. Like I did looking on YouTube, looking on Google and finding a, a solution. Uh, but also don't believe everything you say as far as reviews about somebody or something on the internet. Because the only reviews I saw were bad customer service, poor customer service. I emailed them, they haven't responded. Like I emailed, it took like five days before I heard back and it's been like a two week process, but my parts are here uh, without me expecting anything and they came here. So just remember that about life. And, and if there's a, a bad review, it takes like seven good reviews to counteract that one bad review. So um, that goes on a couple parts, two parts. Number one, don't believe everything that you hear. And then number two, if you have a bad experience with a company or a person, don't just, don't make sure you don't just try to destroy that person or that customer or that company or whatever it might be. Maybe that employee was going through a bad day. Maybe that they were experiencing uh, a challenging time like maybe you are. 
and just give people a little bit of grace in that aspect. I hope that I, that helps you out. I know it's not some deep, profound thing, but it's just something I experienced over the last couple of weeks that I wanted to share with you guys. Have an incredible day, and we'll see you guys on the next video.